I've created the following videos to help you get to 1 million subscribers on YouTube. And each video will focus on one milestone at a time. So for example, the next video after this video is where I'm gonna talk about how to get your first 100 subscribers. And then the video after that, I'm gonna talk about how to get to 1,000 subscribers. And then the next video will be how to get to 100,000 subscribers. And then finally, how to get to 1 million subscribers in the video after that. I'll also have a video in which I talk about a couple of unorthodox methods of getting subscribers if you're new to YouTube and you're trying to get your first 100 subscribers. So follow along and I'll see you in the next video and let's talk about getting your first 100 subscribers. Reaching your first 100 subscribers. Now, for some people, 100 subscribers may not seem much. And for others, 100 subscribers seems a lot. Now, obviously, if you want to get 100,000 or 1 million subscribers, 100 subscribers may not mean much. But you know what? It is an important milestone to get your first 100 subscribers because it shows that you're gaining momentum with your new channel. So if you want to reach your first 100 subscribers, let's get a few fundamentals down first. Okay, when you upload your videos, for example, first make it private, okay? This way you can focus on optimizing the video. Take the time to optimize the title, description, your tags, and also if you want, you can transcribe the video and, and also create a custom thumbnail. Right now, what I use to create my thumbnails is canva.com. And successful YouTubers have realized it's the thumbnail and the titles that's driving the click-through rates. Your thumbnail and title has to make people want to click on your videos. Now, here's a quick tip. A thumbnail uh, that have faces on it, that has the YouTuber's face on it, usually do the best, okay? And titles... Uh, that do well are lists and questions. An example of this can be five steps to getting six pack abs. You're also going to want to add a link in the description to your subscription link. Okay, and of course, uh, in your videos, you should have a call to action at the end asking your viewers to click on the subscribe button and also on the bell. The bell button is what notifies people when you're new videos are released. Now, once your videos are optimized, you can set it to public so that the public can view your videos. Now, when it comes to making your videos, you want to focus on quantity over qual quality. You want to make as many videos as you can. Don't strive for perfection. However, also try not to create crappy videos. And don't worry about investing hundreds or thousands of dollars on new equipment at least not yet you're still starting out you're still trying to get experience and you know what your subscribers or the few subscribers that you have they've already chosen to subscribe to you based on your current quality anyways so they're not expecting you to improve your quality now as you make more videos your videos will naturally get better anyways now, unfortunately, if you have a new and a small channel, it's very unlikely that YouTube will promote your videos and that it will be very difficult for people to see or to find your videos. So you have to find other ways for your videos to be found. For example, you can find out where your potential viewers hang out online, whether it be Facebook groups, blogs, forums, etc. So you have to be proactive here. You can't just sit back and relax and wait for YouTube to, dr to get all the tra traffic to your videos. However, you can do that, but it will just take a lot longer for you to get to your first 100 subscribers. Now, once you find out where your potential viewers are hanging out online, try to share that video on those platforms, okay? Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook groups, etc. And lastly, you should engage and interact. Comment on your own videos and also in all the places where your video is being shared. Doing this will create a community of your own. 
And the higher that your engagement rates are for your videos, the more likely that your videos will rank high on the search engine on YouTube.